Hey guys, it is Anthony's Movie Music Corner here, and it is now time to do my 16th episode of the Movie Review Show. Yep, for today, February 26th. Um, here's the movie I'm reviewing for this episode. It is a movie released in 2003. And I did an opening on YouTube. I'll put a link down in the description. So, here it is. It is the 2017 reprint of How to Lose a Die in 10 Days. 2017 Deluxe Edition DVD. With Kate Hudson and Matthew McConaughey. A fabulously fresh and totally entertaining power of sexes, says Sean Edwards of Fox TV. Oscar nominee Kate Hudson from Almost Famous and Michael McDonough in A Time to Kill. They have the battle with the sexes and outrageously unexpected twist in the runaway comedy that Daily News Syndicate applauds as hilarious. As the how to columnist. For Trendy Composer Magazine, Andy Anderson, who is Kate Hudson, agrees to write a first-hand account about what it takes to drive a man out of your life. Out of your life. In exactly 10 days, at the same time, eligible ad agency bachelor Benjamin Barry, who is Matthew McConaughey, accepts a high-stakes bet that he can Learn a woman into falling head over heels in love with him. Also in 10 days, the resulting romantic head on collision ignites a series of jealously commie deceptions that, that prove when it comes to true love, your heart cannot tell a lie. From the director of Miss Congeniality. If I get that wrong, please correct me. It's a wildly entertaining romantic romp. romp. The sports previous includes commentary by Dr. Donald Petrie, How made the Movie in Two Years, Why is Texas Battle, Girls Night Out, Music Video, Somebody Like You by Keith Urban, Three Scenes with Dr.'s Commentary. I love this movie and so will you, says Jimmy K. Howard, ABC News. Pamela Pictures presents. A Robert Evans slash Christine Peters production. A Linda Oaks production. A Donald Petrie film. Kate Hudson, Matthew McConaughey, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Adam Goldberg, Marshall Michelle, Shalom Hollow. Music by David Newman. Music supervisor, Dana Millman. The Thing. Costume designer, Karen Patch. Edited by Deborah Neil Fisher, ACE. Production designer, Thierry Deprez. Director of Photography, John Valley, ASC. Executive Producer, Richard Bain. Produced by Linda B. D. B. S. D. Robert Evans, Christy Peters. Based on the book by Mike Michelle Alexander and Jeannie Long. Screenplay by Green Buckley. And Brian Radiant and Burr Steers. Directed by Donald Petrie, with Miss Congeniality. Yeah, it's a 2002 copyright date, but it's actually a 2003 movie. I'll show you the release date in a minute. This movie has been rated PG 13 for some sexual material, and it's 115 minutes. There's the DVD. You can see it's a 2009 Greatest Reprint. I'll tell you what it has in a minute. The release date is February 7th, 2003. Yep, this is a 2003 film. They got the 2002 film but copyright date there by mistake. Because the movie came out in 2003, not 2002. <coughs> Here's the previous to this DVD. It has the Paramount DVD logo, the DVD menu, 
the PG-13 rated screen, the Paramount logo, and the movie starts immediately. At the end it has the credits, the Paramount logo, and the DVD warning screen, the Visa Express screen. So, yeah. Anyways, now on to the stuff about this movie I like. Um, I liked uh, K. Dodson's uh, role in the movie, of course, Annie Anderson. I remember that beginning scene where they had those magazine stuff. I also um, memorized the um, ending scene. The scene where they go on that uh, motorcycle adventure. Middle. I like the part in the DVD menu of this movie as well. So, yeah. Yeah. This is my favorite Kate Hudson movie, along with uh, Raising Hell and Bride Wars. I don't have Bride Wars yet, but I'll get that DVD sometime. So, yeah, that's all I gotta see about this movie. I recommend you guys watch it if you like Kate Hudson, if you're a Kate Hudson fan like me. So, yeah. Anyways. Great movie, Black Gate Hudson. You won't like it if you watch it. Thank you for that. <laughs> On the next movie review show, it's episode 17. Next episode premieres on March 5th. The movie is going to be Snow Day, the 2000 movie. Now, I would have decided to review that episode on February 19th, but I decided not to and decided to review The Fire Temptations on the February 19th episode. So, yeah. Anyways. Yeah, next episode, episode 17, for me, is March 5th. So I hope you guys be on a lookout for that. Anyways, um, I'm going to be able to put it on YouTube. And stay tuned for episode 17 of the Movie Review Show. The movie is March 5th. The movie is Snow Day. We're not talking about that episode when episode 17 premieres on YouTube. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. This is Anthony's Movie Music Corner. Thanks for watching.